Hi everyone! So this is the continuation of our lesson about trigonometric ratios of special angles. So for example number 1, determine the exact value of the expression sine 30 degrees plus cosine 60 degrees. So dito, dapat alam nyo muna kung anong uh, equivalent ng sine 30 at saka cosine 60. So sine 30 degrees is 1 half or sine 30 is equal to 1 half plus ang cosine 60 is 1 half din. So ayan, 1 half plus 1 half. So dapat alam nyo rin po mag-add ng fractions. So 1 half plus 1 half, that is equal to 1. So the exact value of the expression sine 30 degrees plus cosine 60 degrees is equal to 1. Let's have another example. Determine the exact value of the expression sine 0 degree plus cosine 90 degrees. So again, alam nyo dapat yung equivalent ng sine 0 at saka cosine 90. Ang sine 0 is 0. Plus, ang cosine 90 is 0 rin. So 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. So the equivalent or the exact value of the expression sine 0 degree plus cosine 90 degrees is equal to 0. Let's have another example. Determine the exact value of the expression sine 30 degrees minus cosine 30 degrees. Again, kailangan alam nyo yung equivalent ng sine 30 at saka cosine 30. Ang sine 30 ay 1 half minus ang cosine 30 is square root of 3 over 2. So dito, 1 half minus square root of 3 over 2. So parang nag a lang po kayo ng fractions. And these fractions po ay similar fractions po yan. Kasi the same sila ng denominator. So paano i-subtract uh, yan? So ang gagawin nyo lang, 1 minus square root of 3, that is 1 minus square root of 3. All over 2, kopihin nyo lang po yung denominator na 2. Okay? So this is now our final answer, 1 minus square root of 3 over 2. Let's have another example. Determine the exact value of the expression sine 30 degrees plus cosine 60 degrees minus cosecant 30 degrees. So again, alam nyo dapat yung sine 30, cosecant 60, ay cosine 60 at saka cosecant 30. Ang sine 30 ay 1 half plus ang cosine 60 ay 1 half din minus ang cosecant 30 ay 2. So, unahin mo na natin ito, i-simplify. 1 half plus 1 half, that is equal to 1. Tama? Minus 2. So, 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1. So, the exact value of the expression sine 30 degrees plus cosine 60 degrees minus cosecant 30 degrees is equal to negative 1. Okay, let's have example number 5. The quantity sine 45 degrees times the quantity tangent 45 degrees plus cotangent 45 degrees. So, ang gagawin muna natin is to uh, look for the equivalent ratio for sine 45 degrees, tangent 45, and cotangent 45. So, ang tangent 45, uh, sine 45 is square root of 2 over 2, and then ang tangent 45 is 1, and ang plus ang cotangent 45 is equal to 1. So, ang gagawin muna natin dyan, i-multiply po na natin muna ito. Square root of 2 over 2 times 1. So, same pa rin. That is square root of 2 over 2. And then, plus 1. Next, square root of 2 over 2 plus 1. So, parang mag a lang kayo ng fractions by whole number. So, that is, punin muna yung LCD. That is 2. And then 2 divided by 2, that is 1, times the square root of 2, that is the square root of 2. Next, plus, ang denominator ng 1 dyan is 1. So 2 divided by 1, that is 2, times 1, that is equal to 2. So ito yung final answer natin, square root of 2 plus 2 all over 2. Hindi na pwedeng may i-add itong square root of 2 plus 2. Okay? Or, pwede rin ito 2 plus 
square root of 2 over 2. Ito na pa yung final answer natin. Okay? Let's have another example. Sine square 30 degrees plus sine square 90 degrees. So, paano i-simplify yan? Or paano kunin yung exact value ng ating expression? Yung sine square 30 degrees can be written as sine sin 30 degrees squared. Okay? And yung sine square 90 naman can be written as sine 90 degrees square. Okay? So, ganun lang po kung paano po isulat ng... Uh, so, isulat tong sine square 30 at saka sine square 90. Next, ang sine 30 ay 1 half and then squared plus ang sine 90 is 1 and then squared. So, square ng 1 half, that is 1 fourth plus square ng 1, that is equal to 1. So, 1 fourth plus 1, that is equal to 1 plus 4 over 4 and that is 5 over 4. So, the exact value of sine square 30 degrees plus sine square 90 degrees is equal to 5 over 4. Next, example number 7. Cosecant square 45 degrees minus secant square 60 degrees. So, again, cosecant square 45 degrees that can be written as cosecant 45 degrees raised to 2. Same with secant 60 degrees raised to 2. Okay? And cosecant 45, that is square root of 2 raised to 2, minus ang secant 60, that is 2, and then square. Okay, simplify natin ito. Square of square root of 2, that is equal to 2, minus square of 2, that is equal to 4. So, 2 minus 4, that is equal to negative 2. So, the exact value of cosecant square 45 degrees minus secant square 60 degrees, that is equal to negative 2. Let's have another example. 10 times sine 30 degrees plus 2 times cosine 60 degrees divided by 8 times sine 90 degrees minus 2 times cotangent 45 degrees. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, isa-isahin natin. So, that is 10 times ang sine 30 is 1 half plus 2 times ang cosine 60 is 1 half divided by 8 times ang sine 90 is 1 minus 2 times ang cotangent 45 is 1. Okay, simplify natin yung numerator natin. 10 times 1 half plus 2 times 1 half that is, ito po, 2, 10 times 1 half that is 5 plus 2 times 1 half is equal to 1. Yung denominator naman, 8 times 1 that is equal to 8 minus 2 times 1 that is equal to 2. So, simplify natin yan. 5 plus 1 that is equal to 6. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. So, 6 over 6 or this is equal to 1. So, the exact value of this expression is equal to 1.